A big reason why your Amazon KDP business is not making as much money as you hoped is because you're getting your book covers completely wrong. Now I've personally sold over a million dollars worth of books on Amazon KDP and helped multiple students build a full-time income with this business. And trust me, there is so much more to book covers than them just looking nice. So today I'm gonna to explain the most common mistakes people make and give you a full tutorial of how to make a best-selling Amazon KDP book cover completely by yourself. So before I go into the full tutorial of showing you exactly how to make the KDP book cover, I need to teach you the four key components to a best-selling book cover. Now the first thing a book cover must do is what I call stop the scan. It needs to stand out amongst all of the other books the customer is currently scanning and grab their attention. Now a big mistake a lot of people make when it comes to their book covers is they take too much inspiration from competitors' books. I do recommend you take some inspiration from them, but not to the point where your book cover ends up looking just exactly the same as all of your competitors. Because if you've got five books in a certain niche you're competing against and they all have very similar colors and similar fonts on their book cover, it's gonna be very, very difficult to stand out. So in order to stop the scan, your book needs to be a different color to what they're doing and also ideally use different typography and different fonts for those two. And that's gonna really stand out and catch your potential buyer's attention. Now component number two, it needs to be clear what your book is actually about. Thanks to all the access to quick dopamine these days, attention spans have never been lower. People simply don't have the time to click into every single book listing and find out exactly what the book is about. And therefore, your book cover needs to do that instantly without them having to actually click into the full listing. And within this, text and graphics are gonna be the two main things that allow you to do this. First, your text needs to be clear and easy to read and tell the customer exactly what your book is about. If it's an animal coloring book, tell them on the cover it's an animal coloring book. Don't try and be fancy and package it up in some kind of cool and quirky way. Just tell them what they want and need to know. And then secondly, the elements on your book should complement what your title is about. So if your title is animal coloring book for kids, the elements on there should be animals in kind of kid format. It sounds really obvious, but so many people get this wrong. The elements on your book should help reiterate what the text on your cover is trying to say. So a book cover is more than just a cover. It's this whole package altogether that tries to relay across information to your customer. Make it easy to read, make it super specific and have elements that support the book title. Now component number three is similar to what I just mentioned there but it's slightly different and that is that it needs to deliver on its title. If your book cover and your book title are not aligned, it's going to put so many people off. As you can see here, here's an example of a kawaii cat coloring book. They haven't called it kawaii cat coloring book. They've tried to be clever and they've called it Whisker Wonders, which again, sounds cool, sounds quirky, but the customer doesn't care. When they're searching amongst loads of other books, all they say here is Whisker Wonders. They wanna see the words Kawaii Cat Coloring Book. They don't care about Whisker Wonders. The Kawaii Cat Coloring Book only appears in very small text and that's extremely hard to see when you're just scanning all of these products. And as you can see, this book has no reviews, so I doubt it's selling very well at all. And this is a huge problem and one you wanna make sure that you're avoiding. And the final component of a best-selling book cover is that it needs to go the extra mile. Sorry to break the news to you, but Canva Sans and Times New Roman fonts just aren't gonna cut it. Again, if you want your book cover to stand out, you need to be using fonts and typography that allows it to do that. And ideally, this font will support the packaging of your entire book. So if your book is maybe a dog coloring book, if you can have some kind of font that you download from the internet that is themed around dogs, maybe it has dog paws in it or something like that, that is even better because it just adds and builds onto the packaging of your title and also the text on your book cover. A lot of the time, these kinds of texts you will need to download, but again, you have to remember the more effort it takes you, the less likely it is that any of your competitors will have done it themselves. So don't see this as a bad thing. Remember your book cover is your first impression. Don't make it a bad one and put time and effort into it. So those are the four components of a best-selling book cover. I'm now gonna take those and start creating a book cover myself to show you exactly how I actually apply them and bring one to life from scratch. Now, just before we get into the fun stuff, we need to first make sure that our book cover dimensions are right. Boring, I know, but it just needs to be done else your book will just get rejected when you try to upload it to Amazon. The good news is it's super easy. All you need to do is go to KDP Cover Calculator on Google and it's this first link that you'll see here. And then you just need to put in some information about your book. So I'll go through and show you what you need to do. We need to go for paperback. Our interior type is gonna be a black and white interior. Paper type is going to be white paper, reading direction left to right. Measurement units are gonna be in inches. And for this book example that I'm gonna show you in this video, we're gonna make a square book. So an 8.5 by an 8.5 book. Remember, 8.5 by 11 is generally a four size, and then six by nine is generally a five size. In this video, as I say, we're gonna go for an 8.5 by an 8.5 with a page count of 108 pages. 
All you need to do then is go ahead and just press calculate dimensions. And as you can see, here are all the correct dimensions for our book cover. When you go to actually first create the canvas, this is the width you need to put in. And then this is also the height that you need to put in. Before you do that, just go ahead and press download template. And that's gonna download a drag and drop template you can put straight into your file and start creating your book cover. Now we're gonna be using a tool called Kittle to bring this book cover to life. Now you've probably seen Kittle a few times on my channel. It is in my opinion, the best tool and software that you can use to create KDP books, especially if you're making something like a KDP coloring book or a KDP book cover and you'll see exactly why in this video. If you want to access Kittle you can check out the link below down in the description and if you also use a discount code on screen you can get yourself a 25% discount too. I've used it many times in this channel honestly could not recommend it enough. The first thing we need to do to bring our book cover to life is firstly change the units from pixels to inches and then input the dimensions that we just took from that KDP cover calculator so it was 17.49 and then it was 8.49 seven, five, and those are the dimensions for our book cover. Go ahead and just press create. And this is the file that it has generated for us. Now it doesn't look like a book cover file at the moment, but you have to remember when you upload book covers to Amazon KDP, you upload the front cover and the back cover in the same file. So the front cover is gonna go here, and the back cover is going to go here. And in terms of where you position everything on your page, well, that's exactly why we just downloaded that template from the cover calculator. So all you wanna do is go over to upload and then upload that file that you just downloaded. And as you can see, here is that file. All you wanna do is bring that all the way to the top of your screen and then drag it right down to the bottom corner. And this should fit perfectly because it's specifically generated for those dimensions that we just put in. So now you can see here's our front cover and here is our back cover. So for demonstration purposes of this video, I'm gonna recreate and improve this Kawaii Annals coloring book that I found on Amazon. Because for you, it's very beneficial for you to see you know, an example of something that I don't consider to be a great book cover and show you how this exact book cover could look so much better. So this is exactly what we're gonna be reproducing in this video. And as you can see in this niche, if you type in Kawaii Animals coloring book, there are loads of book covers, but they're all just so clustered. They look quite overwhelming. There's so much going on in all of these book covers. So I think a lot of them could be vastly improved. And this specifically, is the one we're gonna be improving. So I've actually gone ahead and created this book cover already. And as you can see, it is this one on screen. And now what I want to do is break down this and reverse engineer everything step by step and show you exactly how I brought this to life. And then at the end, summarize and explain why it's so much better than that existing book cover that I just showed you. So the first step to creating this book cover is I always say you have to create the front cover first and then the back cover you create at the end. The front cover is by far the most important part of any KDP book cover file. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and put a background in. So here is the template we're gonna be using to show you exactly how I did that. So all I did was go into elements and I found a black square, drag this in and just made this exactly the same width or the right width as the front cover, as you can see, putting this all the way down here. And then I just changed this color to blue. So I can see this blue here. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that hex code, click back into this square here, and then change the color there to blue. And there you go, that's the first step of our book cover complete. Super easy, just putting in the background. Now the next thing I did was put the title smack bang in the middle of our book. As you can see, Kawaii Animals Coloring Book for Kids. And again, this goes back to what I mentioned at the start of the video when it comes to the packaging and just the book needs to deliver exactly what the title is saying. If the title of this book is Kawaii Animals, you need to make sure this appears smack bang in the front of the book because when the customer is scanning, they know exactly what this book is about. They see Kawaii Animals Coloring Book for Kids, Bam, no need to overcomplicate it. They know exactly what they're getting from this book. Now I actually really like this font too. It's much better than the default fonts that you can see. It's actually a font I downloaded called Cute Dino. So when it comes to getting the best fonts for your KDP book covers, I do recommend you download them online. There are loads of websites. If you just type in font downloader into Google, you can just find loads and loads of different sites and also fonts that you can download there. And then when it comes to adding these fonts into Kittle, all you wanna do is go ahead and press this text button and then add a headline. And that's gonna drag and drop this default text that doesn't look very good, but that's why you've gone ahead and downloaded some other text that you can go ahead and import. Now to import this into Kittle, it's very simple. All you wanna do is go onto the typeface here and then just press this upload button and then just find the text file that you just downloaded. So for me, it was just this cute dino.otf file. It can sometimes be a .ttf file too. Go ahead, just press that and then you have access to that font on Kittle. It's honestly so easy. So then I just typed in kawaii and then did exactly the same, copy and pasted this. Uh, text box and then just put animals in here because it's good to have control over each individual element. So as you can see, it looks good, but it's nowhere near as good as this. And that's because I haven't yet used any text effects. So what you wanna do to do that is go down to text shading. And then I actually chose this one on the right hand side. And if I just go up to the details here, the offset was four, the angle was minus 69 and the outline width was 15. So if I go to outline width as 15, minus 69 and the offset, I can't remember what the offset was, it was four. 
of a set of four. And then the colors I use for the main text, I use this color here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that, put this into there. And then the actual outline, I've gone for this font here. So it's all done in hex code. So it's super easy just to go ahead and copy, go down to here and drop that in there. And as you can see, that's exactly what we've done for this font. And I just did exactly the same thing for the animals and then also the coloring book for kids. And that left us with exactly what we've got here. So the next part of the front cover is actually the thing that makes most of the difference. And it's actually the most fun part of it. And that's generating these images here. And this is why I recommend using Kittle because the image generation feature is so, so easy to use. And as you can see, the quality of the images are really good too. So all you wanna do is go over to this Kittle AI generator and then just go for this image generator option here. And then the best thing about Kittle is you can choose loads of different clip art styles. They actually have a kawaii icon style. And I just typed in happy dog and it's gonna basically read this happy dog and create a happy dog in the style of a kawaii icon. And then just go ahead and press generate image. As you can see, it will cost you one credit. If you do have a plan with Kittle, you obviously get more credits. And as you can see, this is the image that is generated for us. It's actually a little bit different to the dog that we've got on this example, but of course it's not gonna be exactly the same image every time. And you wouldn't want it to be because you want your designs to be unique from everybody else's. But let's just say we wanted to use this dog in our design. Let's bring this down to the file that we've got so far. And then all you wanna to do to add this to your book cover, you wanna just go to remove background, or you wanna click on the actual image itself, then go ahead and just press remove background, and that's gonna automatically, using AI, get rid of this completely white space behind it, make it a little bit smaller, and then just drop this onto your front cover. It is literally that simple. And before something like Kittle, you'd have to pay a freelancer so much money to generate these individual kind of clip art, kawaii style icon images for you. But Kittle makes it so much easier and so much cheaper to do it. Then for the rest of the animals, just do exactly the same thing. Go back over to the image generator, go ahead and press back, and then let's go for another one. Let's type in happy lion and then generate image. And then it's just exactly the same process. Go ahead and remove the background. That's gonna get rid of all the white space behind it, make it smaller, and then add this to your book file. So all I did was rinse and repeat this process until I had my book cover that looks exactly like this. So this looks really complicated, but as you can see, it's actually very straightforward to do. And then the next thing I did was go in and just add these elements to the front cover, just to fill up a little bit of that blank space. Now, again, if you cast your mind back to the start of the video, I was saying the elements you use in your book cover need to support the overall packaging. This is a kawaii animals coloring book for kids. So having things like paw prints just supplements the rest of the packaging already. So it's super easy to go ahead and add these in. Let's go and add these into our file here. Go over to element and then just type in paw print. So many different options to choose from. Let's go ahead and just use this one. And at the moment it's currently this blue color. So we wanna make it black. And the next thing you wanna do is make sure it doesn't quite stand out quite as much as this, because this looks quite strong here. As you can see, ours are a lot smaller. So make this a lot smaller. Then what you can also do is change this percentage here, and this basically changes the transparency. If you click in here, you can either change it by doing this, or you can go ahead and type it in yourself. Let's make this a little bit more transparent. And as you can see, this now looks like it blends in a lot more with our book cover. So again, just went and repeated this process until I had a design with all of these paw prints in. So now the final piece of the puzzle is to add in the back cover of our overall book cover file. And again, the back cover is nowhere near as important as the front cover. For something like a coloring book, it's really important you use examples of what the images might actually look like in the file. So as you can see, I've just got two black and white images of the same things we've got on our front cover. And this is super easy to do. Again, with the text, I just went ahead and copied this and put it onto the back cover and then just bring this to the front. As you can see, this is now overlay. And we also need to go ahead and just press copy and paste this back cover too. So it just has exactly the same color all the way through the file. And then went through and then just changed this text to 50 unique designs to color. I'm not gonna do that now because you know how to do that, it's very straightforward. But what I am gonna show you to do is how to get these images like they are here. So all I did is copy and pasted again this image from one of the dogs or take whatever image you want to. And then with Kittle, all you need to do is go ahead and press this vectorize button and then change it to something like four or five colors. This just makes it very easy to turn this into a black and white image. And what it will do is it will change some of the colors and you wanna make sure the blacks just stay black and then change everything else to white. So it basically breaks down the image into just the colors that you select and we're just selecting black and white. And as you can see, just like that, our dog has now been transformed into a black and white image. And it's exactly the same for all of the other designs. I've just done exactly the same thing with the Tiger 2. So that is honestly so straightforward. And this is the final product that we've got for our coloring book. So now that we're happy with our book cover, all we need to do is go ahead and download it. Just press this export button here and then make sure you're exporting it as a PDF and then go ahead and select the artboard that you want. So for our example, our finished product is this artboard five. 
Go ahead and press export and that's exactly the file that you're going to upload to Amazon KDP. And now I'm going to bring this full circle and show you exactly why this is a significantly better coloring book than the one I showed you at the start. So if we go all the way back to the four components of a best-selling book cover, firstly, it needs to stop the scroll. It needs to be bold and stand out from all the other books on the market. As you can see here, our bright blue color of our book is going to easily stand out from all of these, which are much similar colors. You see lots of pinks, lots of kind of bright, like really, really light oranges here. Ours is definitely going to stand out. As you can see, this one definitely stands out from all the others. And it's a very similar color to the one we've got. So I'm pretty confident that our book cover will stop the scan and stand out amongst all of these other books. The second component is that it needs to be clear exactly what the book is about. If you zoom out here, you can see straight away, bam, this blue catches your attention. And the next thing you look at straight away is kawaii animals. It tells the customer straight away, exactly what our book is about. So not only does our book cover at the moment, stop the scan, it's also very clear what it's about. And on top of that, it also ticks the box of component number three, is that it delivers on the title. The title of our book here is gonna be something like Kawaii Animals, Coloring Book for Kids, because that's literally what it is. So if that's the case, our book cover needs to show that. So this is gonna show up alongside our title, and this completely matches what we've got on our listing. We're not confusing the customer like in that example I showed you at the start of the video. Our book cover is exactly what it says on the tin. Keep it simple, keep it specific, and that will massively help your book. And then finally, it needs to go the extra mile. So we've actually gone ahead and downloaded our own custom font from Google. If you compare it to this book cover here, as you can see, they have got an outline on their text, but it's nowhere near the level of ours. Ours just looks significantly better because we've gone the extra mile with our book cover. And this first impression straight away is just significant significantly better than all the other ones on the market. So that is a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to produce a best-selling book cover for Amazon KDP. Now, of course, your book cover needs to have a really good interior to go with it. So if you wanna check out a video showing how to do exactly that, you can check out the one you can see on screen here, where I use exactly the same piece of software to generate the book interior.